Just know when you see me, you're looking at You could have 10 master balls, you still can't match Don't care about legendary birds, you can't attack Ash Ketchum catches them all, but I only catch Yo! Yo, what up guys, it's your boy son TJ back again to read more of Drive Mall Super episode 80. And um, I'm going to kind of just say fuck it to this whole review like type of structure I'm doing, man. Um, I'm really just going to do my thing, yo. And also, I'm running out of patience because I'm, if you can't hear, I'm very, I'm getting sick. My throat is getting sore. I've been taking medicine, you know, left and right, but it's, it's hard to get rid of. But today, we're going to be talking about Go On versus Lavender or Lavenda, whatever you want to fucking call them. <laughs> And um, I've been wanting to do a little Gohan rant on the fans because, like, listen, this is my opinion, okay? But I just got to say, a lot of these guys that claim to be Gohan fans, they just don't know what the fuck to talk about. Still, people still think even Gohan, after all this shit he's been doing, is still weaker than he was in the Boo Saga. <laughs> like, for real, man. Like, don't get me wrong. From Neverworld and um, Barack Obama, not Barack Obama, a guy who has this Obama moniker, says so Gohan's, like, very weak and shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man, <laughs> okay? But, like, regardless, that's... um. That's something um, entirely. I'm just going to be talking about this episode, talk about a little power scaling, and do like a mini little rant thing, but that's just a little stuff there. It's not much of a big deal. Then later on in a full video, I'll rant about Go On events. But anyway, so Go On versus Lavender. Um, majority is fight, man. Gohan is blinded by fucking poison. Like, this reminds me of Goku versus Frost all over again, except Gohan didn't get screwed over badly as Goku did against Frost. And um, it's just showing how go how far Gohan's come and how powerful he really is and how he's very smart and he'll use tactics to win a battle even that he's been bullshitted around by fucking poison. And it starts off with Gohan in ultimate form. Yes, this is ultimate Gohan fighting Lavender, but literally at the beginning, Lavender tricks him and uses poison. And um, it blinds him, right? And it looks way better in the anime because in the preview, it looked like he had fucking mascara on. But in, in the anime right now, it actually shows like a little aura of poison around his eyes, which is a great thing. And Gohan's getting beaten up and stuff. And people on Twitter saying, yep, Gohan's getting fucked over again. Like everyone, you know, always counts Gohan out. But Gohan uses Daredevil type hearing and he's able to like legit, like if you see how he counters Lavender, it looks just like how he beat the fuck out of Super Boo. Like it's fantastic how he's able to counter and whoop this nigga's ass it was clean it was it was it was awesome but lavender learns that okay so i can't really fight him heads on like this so i have to go in the sky and gohan is at a disadvantage yet again because he can't use his toff slash daredevil he hearing the counter him so he decides to go super saiyan and use his super saiyan aura as a radar to detect lavender and he starts winning again goku beerus and wiz all proud of him right but the problem is that using super saiyan in this form is a disadvantage even though he's super saiyan potential unleashed gohan he's even more powerful and he's overwhelming lavender even though even though he's overwhelming lavender it's not by much but it's, it's increasing the poison so it's adding even more sense of danger to the fight right so gohan has like no choice but to keep trying to fight it out while being poisoned but he eventually eventually is able to fucking get um get lavender in like in a, in a hold and do like a double dive, like a fucking Lee versus Gara, like like attack, and he's able to beat Lavender, but he gets up and says, I won. Like Lavender's knocked out, but like five seconds later, Gohan gets up and he's but he wins and he falls. So Gohan technically won, but the Grand Prix says no, it was a draw. Which is total bullshit. <laughs> Gohan won. So I've been telling people over and over again that even though Goku's going to fight next time, Gohan's going to win. And guess what? He won, but Grand Peace is going to, you know, fucking screw him over and say he lost. Or, no, it was a tie. Fuck that. Gohan won. Okay, I was right. Every, every Gohan hater, eat your dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. But we get even more information that it seems that the, um, the, the, the power, you know, the Universal Survival Saga, it seems like not all the universes are competing because it seems like the universe is with the lowest score of, like, humans and God ratio or something like that. Like, pretty much the universes with the least amount of high scores are going to join the tournament. Whoever wins saves their universe, but whoever loses gets the story. The universe that is exempt from this is Universe 1, Universe 5, Universe 8, and Universe 12. So it seems like we're not going to get, like, everyone thought it was going to be a humongous tournament, but it seems like we're going to be missing out on four universes, and only eight universes are going to get So we're not going to see God Destruction Gene, God Destruction Liquor, God Destruction Iraq, and God Destruction Ewen to compete in their characters. So I might have to show my list for 150 characters, about 100 <laughs> at this point. 
So that was, some, that was some information there. So and also Beerus blames the Supreme Kai that from it's your fault for letting humans decide their own destiny. That's why our rating is so bad. And Supreme Kai blames Beerus because Beerus was asleep for so long. In the next episode preview shows Go um, Goku fighting the leader of the the next universe, pretty much. And that's the end of it. Also, Goku's fighting like a giant version of the dude. Okay, it, from information I got, it seems like he can copy people's moves. So eh, we'll see. So yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. The art and animation is not as great as Majin Buu versus his guy, but I still really enjoyed it. It just finally shut people up who think Gohan's a weak bitch when he's not, okay? You don't understand. Like, it's a dead meme at this point to call Gohan weak when it's been proven so many times he's not. Even Resurrection F, he's proven to be stronger than his Buu Saga self when he goes Super Saiyan. And fucking even Goku when he, um, Goku when he fought Great Saiyan Man Gohan, when he went Super Saiyan, he overwhelmed Super Saiyan Beyond God Goku so it shows you that Super Saiyan potential at least Gohan is more powerful than Super Saiyan Beyond God Goku. That just shows you how powerful these new guys are. And just for people to just keep going with this meme that he's ass and he's weak and this and that. And just because you don't see the motherfucker powering up with black hair does not mean he's not ultimate. Okay? Um, if you want more information on that, watch my video complaining and showing Gohan's power. But yeah, this, this episode fully shows this is ultimate Gohan fighting and he's using Super Saiyan to even boost him up even more to have Super Saiyan potential unleash Gohan or potential unleash Super Saiyan, whatever the fuck you want to call him. And I really enjoyed it, man. It just shows that Gohan is still powerful and this really gets all the people that want badass Gohan back into the show because I really enjoy Gohan as a character. I don't need him to be a badass all the time. This is a really great treat, though. I, enjoy, I really enjoy seeing badass Gohan. And just seeing, also, it seeing the interaction between Goku and Gohan was awesome as well. Because you know the meme, Gohan's a bad dad, Gohan hates him. You know what Team Forest Star did with Gohan. But it shows that, you know, they're still rocking and Goku's proud of what Gohan's doing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think Gohan is still not ultimate? Because, <laughs> come on guys, get come on. Okay, he doesn't need the power of black hair to let you guys know he's ultimate. But um, yeah, let me know what you think he's ultimate. Did you think that um, Gohan being cheated about not winning the fight when he really did is fucked up. I think it's fucked up. And uh, who you think is going to win between Goku and his next opponent? And yeah, um, I'm really sick, yo. I'm really feeling it, but I'm going to try to record some videos. Um, also, I hope you guys enjoyed the Ben 10 video. Make sure to check that out. And yeah, I'm starting to ramble too much. So if you like the video, man, like the video. Please share with your friends. And please like the video, man. Um, the likes been literally about 20 to like down to 8 likes per video. And I need that shit up, man. So please like the video. And so to that, peace. Love you all. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental. And anything I got is not a rental. I own that motherfucker. Figure it out, this shit is simple. My stock been going up like a crescendo. A bunch of handshakes from the face. I told y'all motherfuckers, man, this shit is not a